What's up, everybody? It's your girl, CC with WIB, and I have a special guest on the line with me today. I'm going to let him introduce himself of who he is, where he's from, and what he does. Yeah, how you doing? My name is Deform Sloan. I'm from Philly. What's Philly to be exact? I'm a rapper, actor, artist, creator, model, all around American man. <laughs> all right now, a jack of all trades. <laughs> So how did you come up with that name? What's the meaning behind that name? Uh, D from Stanford, do it for America. That's my um, one of my partners, homies who passed away, one of my childhood friends. I grew up he passed away when he was 14. He started rapping with me. We all started rapping together. And when he died, we created a movement. But they go harder with music. Calling that um, do it for America, do it for America. So oh, wow. Prayers, prayers, prayers. Well, what made you want to um, be a rapper? How did you get into the music industry? Uh, I was younger. I remember when I was nine and I always wanted to like uh, go hard with the music. I wanted to like start. I always like wanted to know I was going to be like some type of famous or something like that. I was younger. Not knowing how I was, but I remember I heard this song on the radio and it said something about Roxanne or something like that. Hurricane, something like that, but I made a song. When I was nine, and I used to be rapping and saying it. And I don't know, I just always, near on out, I just always, as I got older, I just, I don't know, I just wanted to be a rapper and just like start coming along. I started going to the studio when I was like 14, 15, stuff like that. And I started taking off. And I got older, like around 17. Okay, all right. Who are your top five favorite artists, rappers? Top five. Yeah, I know. Who passed away? I was looking for a partner, my partner. He passed away in 2020. Uh, well, top, when you say top five, are you saying like top five again? What I think like, like greed is it, or do I think like somebody I listen to, like top five people I listen to, like today, like all the time? Yeah, your top five all the time. Who you like? Yeah. DMX, Michael Jackson. Okay. All right. Well, let's talk about your single. Which one? Uh, Sway Talk Driving Crazy? Yeah, let's talk about that song and the motivation behind it. Uh, well, I, I had I started with this own um, this uh this club wave in my city. I started with that. Like I uh, um I made a song called Baby Shark in 2020. My, my partner Kiana, who passed away, and it took off during the pandemic. Millions of views, millions, one point something million views. But it slowed down once the pandemic stopped. The club stopped. It was a club record, and I seen TikTok was going crazy with people dancing the party record on there. I decided, I said, damn, like, I really do this. Really. I really, it's like really my lane. Like rap when they down there, not rap when they dance to the regular beats. They don't know that I rap when these type beats. I mean, the beat sound 10 times better than what they're hearing. So I came on TikTok with these two records. And TikTok ate them up, they would be shot up. I'm like, this is I mean, so that was, that was great. Gotcha. I gotcha. But you also say you play into, you're an actor also. So I know you played Darnell in, what, The Fresh Prince of Bel Air? Yeah, Let's talk about that. How was your experience being on there? That was a great, it was a great experience. That was like one of my first time acting, being on a TV period. So that was like a major experience all around. Just that environment, that that that, that motivation on knowing like being like, oh, just like this is like you can be rapping ain't ain't it all. This ain't the only thing I want to be. Just show me this ain't the only thing I want to be. Just a rapper, or right. more stuff like that for me. Gotcha. Gotcha. So what are some goals you want to accomplish for 2023? What are we looking forward to for this year? Uh, 2023, I'm, I'm saying accomplish going gold and platinum. A gold and a platinum record. So I'm going to get that's that's, 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 that's my biggest accomplishment. Those two right there. So we're going to put them two together. We're going to crawl like that. <laughs> okay. So All right. So right are you going to do any touring? You got any upcoming events? Um, yeah. any shows? Yeah, I got upcoming come February 18th at the Met, Philadelphia. 
it's gonna be a big show. Uh, a tour should be coming soon. You know what I mean? I'm gonna announce some dates soon, announce cities. It might be overseas, it might be Eastern, Western. <laughs> and you'll see, I'm, I'm gonna come in on social media with it soon. So we're gonna see how that goes. All right, all right. So out of all the places in the world, where is one place you would wanna perform? One. Where to? Oh, London. London. Yeah. Okay, why did you choose London? So what? Why did you choose London out of all places? I don't know. I, I like the vibe out there. I like the, the music culture out there, too. I like I like how their fans react to music, music period out there. So I find my music a little crazy out there. All right. Okay, okay. So what about your acting career? Um, Are you going to be in any other films? Are you trying to try out for anything else? Yeah, I got a, a new movie I shot in June, July. Around that, around that time, around like June, July, coming out in March called Oh It. So stay tuned for that. Okay, you said in March. Yeah, and when can we see it? It's gonna be on Amazon Prime, Netflix, uh the movies where where can we look forward to it to come at? I'm not sure. I forgot. I, I stay tuned. I'm posting everything. Everything gonna be on my own social media when we get like all the rest of the information that we get to school. So that's how that's gonna go. Gotcha. Yeah. So, who are some artists you would like to work with? Uh, I don't know. I got no particular artist that I know I want to work with, but I'm down to work with like anybody who. That don't work with me for, for I, I do I want to do it somewhere. Um, I want to put the city girls on the song. I want to put city girls on the song. I want to see if they can tell the topic is me. <laughs> Just the city girls? Yeah. You wouldn't want to yeah. collab with yeah, nobody that, else? <laughs> no, I ain't got nobody on my mind. I'm just like dying to collab with. You get what I'm saying? But. I know that, like, I do. I probably want to work with them. I want to make make a crazy record. Who we talk? Who we talk? Or a little really? Who we talk? The time for who we talk more? Who <laughs> can speak for each side better? You know what I mean? You speak for the girl. I speak for the guy. Let me see who we talk. I got you. I got you. Well, what makes your music different than others? What makes yours more unique? My voice, my cadence, my demeanor, everything, like all of the whole, you know, the whole one-two of my whole thing. Like just how I speak, you know what I'm saying? My voice is deep, it's a raspy, delivery, everything for real, for real. Anything you can think of, I ain't think we can do it, like I'm being different. I'm different in each way, you know what I'm saying? So what's been the hardest or the biggest challenge of yours right now trying to be an artist? My biggest talent time being an artist. I'm probably done with real life. They do in real life. They got to be like the biggest talent when it comes to being an artist. As long as you got real life. So, uh, just dealing with real life, knowing that like you, um, I got a real life outside of this music. That's probably like the biggest challenge. But I don't consider that too much of a challenge. Nah. I don't let it like get to me, but it's like that's just like one of the biggest challenges. I got you. I got you. All right. Okay. Well, what has been your? We talked about your challenges. Let's talk about your accomplishments. What's the, what has been your biggest accomplishment so far? The I would say the Bel Air, me signing my record deal, the Bel Air uh, show, and performing at Roll Loud. Mm. I'll say that. How was yeah. that experience? Performing at Rolling Loud. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, it was amazing experience. I can't wait to see how how next year the elevator from this year, like the crowd, the better people in the crowd. I mean, the bigger stage. The stage is big, though, but I mean, the crowd is cool. But I want to see the elevation of my progress. Just seeing where I started, just seeing how other artists started from. Oh, Dan, that's where they started at. When they first performed a rule out, now I want to see like how it go for me. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I can see, I can see that. So what else can we um so what else can we hear from you? Like you say you're acting, you're doing um, you say you have a movie coming out, and then you say it's your project. When do your project come out? I got an EP coming and I got EP coming and I don't got a direct date. All right now I'm going single for single. Okay. So let it go. Gotcha. So yeah. Right now, we're single, single. Okay, all right. Well, congratulations on that. What do you think is missing in today's music? Me. <laughs> <laughs> me. So when, they, when they get a whiff of me, everything will be complete. <laughs> so when you say you, and I know you said your voice, but what's going to make it stand out to say okay we really need him in this world we really need him in the music industry this is a big turnaround the way i'm gonna change the game the way i'm gonna change it not the, 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 the dynamic the narrative on music on how you record music different beats i see i, I got i feel like i got the world right now repping on club beats you know what i'm saying i started me and scam i started that know the whole world mainstream artists Drake, a little Uzi, everybody's rapping on club beats. So imagine what I bring to the industry when I come stuff they ain't here before. And they heard it before. So imagine when I come with stuff they ain't here before. Okay. All right. So where do you see yourself in the next three years? And the next three years. I feel like I, I see myself. Being one of the biggest rappers, artists in the world, probably trans trans over the transfer over the acting. More more so acting a little bit. Uh, uh, next year I'm gonna be out of this world. I can't even really explain, but I know I'll be out of this world next year. Like oh. they gonna fuck. Okay, all right. I mean, what's the best advice you ever received in your life? You know, usually we get, oh, I'll never give up and everything like that, but something different. What's something that stood out to you that was the best piece of advice? Uh, it's, I don't know, I got so much advice in my life. Not really stick like stuck out to me. Like just like you said, people give you the same advice, like but it's the same advice that you hear repeatedly, like you never give up. Everybody get their turn, just wait your turn. Everybody gonna get their turn. Or always pray to God, like praying, like stuff like that. Like it's the same advice. It's never nothing like that really stuck out to me. They had me thinking right now, like damn, I remember this, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll be lying if I tell you some advice that stuck out to me. Okay, so let's swap it then. So if you can't really think of a what advice, what advice would you give to other artists that are trying to get into this industry? Somebody said I would give the uh, artists coming into the industry would be. Study. Study the ends and out of this industry. It ain't even just about the music. Study everything, from fashion to demeanor to know how to move when you get to a certain point in life, like as far as like being too available and like being like exclusive to people, just like know where to hang, how many times to do that. You know what I'm saying? There's so much. I would tell them just study the, the history of like how to become a successful artist, just look at other people. I look at how people just watch and study, do your homework. Study you playing the sport. Do your homework on this whole thing. It's more than just music. Because good music is just as a plus. Okay. Okay. So since we're talking about that, what are your other hobbies or interests? Because you said it's more than just music. So if it's just more than music and acting, what are some of your other hobbies and interests you have? I feel like fashion. I feel like if you can make 
I always go out of this, this model, right? And I should have said this in the last, I said, put this in the last answer with the last question you just asked and just not answer. Well, advice, I feel like if you make, like as a guy, a guy artist, I'm gonna speak for guy artist, if you make all the young boys, all the young dudes wanna be you, and all the pretty girls wanna meet you, you won already. And they can dress up to be you for Halloween, because you got an image, you won already. If, Yeah, just those two right there. Gotcha. What's your other interests that you do? Like, what's what's your hobbies that you do other than music? Well, box. I um, I'm um, I, I, I'm in a fashion. I won't say I'm a model or nothing like that. I won't say I'm a model. I'm in a fashion. I, I'm, I'm I'll be at the fashion shows in New York. I participate in New York Fashion Week, stuff like that. Being out there in that environment, meeting new people, new designers. And yeah. And boxing and shopping. Okay, all right. So, would you want to? Would you want to see how it is to be a model? Since you're into fashion, like if you went out there and you went to, yeah. I'm sorry. Go mm -hmm. ahead. I said no. You're most definitely. I'll definitely do that. Most definitely. Is is that is is that one of your goals? Yeah, it really is one of my um. I, I I I performed at a fashion show, like on a runway, but I never like try to walk. So yeah. Okay, all right. And you say you're into boxing too? Yeah, I box. But I, I I don't box no more. But I yeah, I'm in the box. I used to box. Uh, okay. So why did you stop? Uh, I got like hit by a car and I had a cast in my foot, so I just decided to like start going to the studio more. And as I went to the studio more, I ended up the music started taking off. You know what I'm saying? The music started taking off more. So. I got you. I got you. Okay, so we do a fun fact game. I got two fun questions for you. So the first question is if you could trade places with one person for one day, who would you choose and why did you choose that person? I trade places with one person for one day. Probably somebody like from like, like another like country. Any random person just to see how it is living out there, to experience like a new life and see how it is being, you know, it would be any country. I probably do it for like each country. It wouldn't even be one person. I probably do it for like person from that country, person from this country, person from that country. Let's just see. So you would just trade places with somebody from another country and just live their life for a day, <laughs> just yeah, to just see how they it is. Yeah, they living. They 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 living. They living the range of how. Even if it's like they struggling, or anything, I still want to see like how to like, you know what I'm saying? I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay. So my second question is, if you can interview anybody dead or alive, who would you interview and what would that question be? I would interview Michael Jackson. Probably Michael Jackson. I don't know. Probably Michael Jackson. <laughs> uh, and what yeah, would you ask? Yeah, probably Michael Jackson. I ain't trying to think. I'm to be like Michael Jackson because like, I know like a lot of like celebrities that get like real star shit around him. You know, they celebrities too. And how it feel like just being like, how did you feel like? Did you, did you feel like you was really him? You hear me? Like, did you feel like you was really like, yeah, I'm like, I know I'm like, how did you know? I want to know how you thought about his fame and shit like that. Okay, so you would just ask them, hey, how did it feel to just be you? That would be your question. You would ask them. Yeah, I really didn't think to her on that question. I really didn't answer it fast, but that's kind of what I just like thought of. Like, just that right moment, like, damn, like, I would ask them because that's something I really is curious about. Just like how you just asked about living in different. I was saying living in different. I don't know, asking that how it felt. Okay, all right, all right. So if you could describe your future, in three words, what would those three words be? My future? Mm hmm If you could describe it in three words, what would those three words be? Success. 
successful. Okay. More successful. More more uh, wealthy financially. More handsome. <laughs> You got to get more handsome, more successful, and more wealthy. Those will be your three future words. Okay, I got you. I got you. So right now, if you could give um, one message to your fans, what would you want to tell them? I want to tell my, friend, my fans that I truly, I love, I love them. And if you was ever truly on my side, I love you more. And I appreciate it. Okay. All right. Well, anything you want to tell us before we get off of here? Anything you want to shout out? Anybody you want to shout out? Uh, no, shout out my team. Shout out everybody um, that's helped me and pushing with me to um, take this dream and my, my, my career to the next level. You know I mean? And all my fans, I love them. And keep streaming and tuning in my new music. Share her beef from Sloan everywhere. Put a money sign without a money sign, even though it is with a money sign. Because you both make all gonna pop up. Uh, my new single out now. Go crazy. I'm on YouTube only though, it's called Murder Flicks. But keep streaming, dropping crazy. And Sway Cup, Purple Leaves, and all the love. <laughs> I can go on, but man, I appreciate everybody. All right, okay. Make sure to shout out your social medias also so they know where to follow you. D for M Sloan everywhere. D for M Sloan. S L O A N everywhere. With the money sign, without the money sign. It's really with the money sign. You search it up with the money sign, it's going to all pop up. So with the S. Gotcha. All right. Well, I want to say thanks for interviewing with me. It's been a pleasure to get to know you and congrats on everything you got going on. I look forward to see what you, um, you say you got a new project that's, um, a new film that's coming out. So you'll be posting that on your website. So we'll have to go on your page and look for it. Yeah. Your events. I appreciate right. it. it was nice talking to you. Thank you. Nice talking to you also. And hey, be the best that you can be for 2023. Be safe out there. Most <laughs> All right, have a good one.